What's up, ladies and gents? Sinister One, your host, and welcome back to some more coverage of that is right, Assassin's Creed Origins. This time, I'm actually going to be going over nighttime gameplay and how you go, how you get to nighttime. At least in this demo, was to click in the left thumbstick and hold it for about three seconds, and it would switch to nighttime. I figure that not a lot of people probably knew about that, as I asked all of these questions because, guys, I'm an Assassin's Creed fan. I want to give you as much coverage as possible and show you everything that the game has in this short demo time that we had. So. This is nighttime gameplay, and as you can see, it is just as beautiful. So obviously there's going to be a day and night cycle, uh, which goes along with this game. Uh, but for the purposes of this demo, um, you won't be playing long enough to get to the nighttime. So uh, I was able to figure out how to do it quickly. So we're going to move around here. Again, this video is going to be specifically doing nighttime gameplay as well as some combat and uh, infiltrating a stronghold at night and showing you guys the difference between... Um, daytime and nighttime when it comes to enemies and where they're placed and so you can kind of feel just how open ended this world really is so here this was the first time that I had come across a, a lair a hippopotamus lair and in order to get um, you can get some actually especially really cool and rare items by doing these little side quests these little side things very very tiny and they're all over the place you just have to kind of find them. So as you can see here, there's a bunch of hippopotamus or hippopotami. I don't know how you would uh, how you would plural this, but they're all over the place. And really, all you got to do is take out the leader. Um, but this was my first time, so I had no idea which one the leader was. So we're just gonna take them all out. Um, normally, I don't like doing this, and you probably won't see much of this gameplay in. Um, in the final version because I'm an animal lover but I definitely wanted to show you for those out there that wanted to, to get into the hunting game and the crafting game this is what you can do and you can see which one's going to be the the bigger ratty so I did at this point I didn't have the aerial assassination unlocked or anything like that um, and you can they also have levels too so this is a level 20 we're level 21 so you can take them out pretty easily And as you can see, you can take it out, and you still get XP for everything. And of course you can loot. And you can see all the different things that you picked up. And that will come into play when you are wanting to craft specific items. And there's more treasure out here, but as you can see, there's pretty much being swarmed. Can we sneakily get up there? Now, see, that's what I love about it. It tells you wherever you aim, tells you exactly where you need to aim. But again, you can use sleeping darts to take out these. Whoa, it's coming after me. I love that right there. That's great. But as you can see, oh, there is the big bad beast, the level 21. And you can take it out that quickly. Now, one thing I didn't get a chance to test was if um, you're able to sleep dart enemies that are like level 25. Uh, and that's a way that you can assassinate them. I don't know. I did not get a chance to test that. Um, I, there was only a few times that I won after the enemies that were higher level than me. Just because uh, the times that I did, it just never worked out as far as trying to be stealthy. But um, So there's also crocodiles. Hippos, uh, uh, all kinds of animals to hunt. So you're, uh, for those of you out there that like this type of gameplay, you're going to absolutely love it. And you get a significant amount of XP for doing it as well. We already picked up all the loot that was in that area, so we can go ahead and get out of here. And now we're going to move on to another stronghold. So this specific stronghold that we're going to be moving to is a stronghold that is around the same level as us. So there are going to be some that are around the same level, and there are going to be some that are way, way higher than you. So if you want to go after the ones that are around the same level, then you will be able to stealth to your heart's content as much as you want. But it looks like we uh, found some enemies fighting a snake in the middle of the road, so why don't we have some fun? So what I want to try here, and what my main goal here was, is to specifically try the parry. 
So you're going to see me take a lot of hits because I want to specifically try to see exactly the timing that is required to parry. And it's actually quite difficult to pull off. And you'll see. So you got to hit on the Xbox One the B button. Uh, what that is is like a, sh um, it's a shield ma maneuver that allows you to block them at a specific time and allows you to stun them for about two seconds so you can go after them. But it is not easy to pull off. I was actually only able to pull it off, I think, twice my entire playthrough. My entire four hours of gameplay that I did, I was only able to pull it off twice. It's not easy to do, so they've definitely changed the combat. And I, I love it. I love how, as the first assassin, we are not just the total badass. We are a guy on a mission who wants to help the world and to get rid of all of these bad people. And that's what we are. We don't have all of this formal training. We don't have all of this stuff that makes what the assassins that you know and love, uh, we don't have that yet. It's not, it's not founded yet, right? We are the foundation. We are starting it. So as you can see, it is really difficult to pull off some of these maneuvers. And I like the way that they're doing this. And I think it makes sense since this is the first Assassin's Creed, it's going to be different, right? Because there's hundreds of years of formulating the right tactics that the Assassin's has, has evolved into. So I like the gameplay and I think it it's a, it's a nice uh, breath of fresh air. But as you can see, it's not easy to pull this off. So eventually when you get to the point, uh, do some good dodges and we'll just take him out with a nice execution. But as you can see, it's not easy to pull off. So that's probably going to be one of the more challenging parts. And you do have to unlock the parry option. It is not something you just have. It's an RPG, folks. So you have to unlock these specific things. And as you can see, you got to do B while in shield mode. So you have to hit the LB to get into shield mode. And then you have to hit B at the precise time in order to pull off a parry. And again... Very, very challenging to do. But now we're going to go ahead and head off to that strong camp. I'll show you a little bit of this amazing horseplay right here. I, I love it. Absolutely love it. And it's so maneuverable. It's probably the best maneuverable horse that I've got a chance to, <clears throat> to mess around with. And I'm talking Red Dead Redemption. I'm talking all the games that allow you to go around with a horse. This horse reacted and moved the best in my opinion. So this is a stronghold that's actually a part of a mission that you do. And again, I will show those missions in just a little bit, but I want to give you guys this free roam stuff first so I can get these out there. They take quite a while to render because they're in the highest of quality at 4K. And it might take days for 4K to show up on the video. So we'll use the eagle to scout up ahead. Now, now here's the thing. So you'll notice there's not many enemies out here. That is because it is in the middle of the night. It is sleepy sleep time. So there's only a few patrolling guards. All of the other enemies that are in this level, they are sleeping. And they are literally sleeping right now. They're all inside these buildings. And if you make any noise outside of those buildings and they hear, then they will wake up. And then everybody will be on you. And you'll see that here in just a little bit. But, as you can see, that's a level 20, so not too difficult to take out. One of the things I asked is, are you going to have a cover mode again? So, if you remember before, there was, like, you could get up, brush up against cover, and uh, you'll be able to, you know, take enemies and drag them behind a certain cover. You can't do that anymore. You can still assassinate behind a cover, but it doesn't move that enemy behind the cover. So no longer are there actual like taking a enemy and assassinate the, assassinating them behind cover. Now you can you can whistle at them like when you're in a, a, a bush just like before and have them come over to you and then assassinate them. That's fine. But there's no real like cover mechanic in this game. And see because I did not bring my eagle inside Therefore, I did not know where all the enemies are. So it's a lot more challenging, especially since you have to bring your eagle into... There's no more eagle vision, right? So it's it's an actual eagle. So you can't look inside unless you bring your eagle into the areas. And we just used a whistle. And as you can see, that got him to stop moving. And he would eventually head over to us. But for gameplay-wise, I just wanted to get in there and start knocking him out. Now, once you get the yellow and red, and as you can see, they were all sleeping. Look at how many enemies were in there that you wouldn't even know were actually in there. And now we can just go ahead and get into the combat. And again, my goal here is to try as much as I can to get a parry. 
Now there's also enemies, just like Far Cry, where you'll have a specific alarm guy. And you see this guy right here, he is heading for the alarm. Now, it's not as quick and instantaneous as it was before in, say, Far Cry, where they could just go to the alarm and hit it. Because this is back in the day, he has to actually light a fire to get the alarm to go off. So you have a little bit more time to stop him before he is able to do that. As you can see, he's trying to start a fire. How cool is that, right? He's literally trying to start a fire, and you can get to him in time before he's able to actually get the fire going and and alert all the other enemies. So I think that's a really, really cool gameplay mechanic that you can really exploit and use uh, to your advantage. So again, this guy is not a normal enemy. He is a bow and arrow kind of guy. So those are easier to take out. You just want to make sure you stay away from their arrows. Now, you could see that we're not done with this area just yet because there are still the captain uh, of the guard and the commander of the guard that are still in here. So you got to kill the commander and the captain and you got to loot one more treasure in this area. Uh, and you have no idea of knowing where the commander or the captain is in this specific area. You know that he's probably sleeping, so you gotta go around, check inside all of the areas um, that you can find, and eventually, hopefully, you'll be able to find him, which we uh, eventually are able to find him. He's actually right in there, but again, I don't know to look in there because obviously it's not like before where you just click Eagle Vision and all enemies you know, throughout show up, you know, no matter if there's walls in between or whatever. But we don't want to take him. We actually want to try to defeat him. So we don't want to just take him out this way. So we're going to try to make a little bit of noise to get him to come up. Because it would be obviously too easy just to kill him and knock him out right here. Because you can see, we can just assassinate him. But I'm trying to step on him again. There we go. Now he wakes up. But this enemy is actually pretty difficult. He is a level 22. He's higher than us. Any level that is 22 and they're a commander, they are very difficult. But again, I'm still trying to focus on just trying to parry. So I could probably take him out pretty easily doing regular combat. But again, all I want to do is you see I'm hitting that B button. It's trying to get that parry going on. And it is just not happening. It's going to be a, a challenge to get that to work. And hopefully maybe they'll fix that. I don't know if they meant it to be that hard. But obviously a challenge is a good thing. So, But again, because of the shield, remember you can't do any normal damage to enemies um, with a light attack. You have to take their shield out first. As you can see, it's these enemies are a lot tougher. And they can even block your arrows. It's pretty cool stuff. Mine now. now we're gonna play a little game of cat and mouse. <laughs> you can jump over each other. Again, I don't have the uh, the assassination ability, air assassination unlocked. And this this was um, this was my first recording of the game, so I know there, it's been kind of out of order and stuff. But I wanted to show off different sections to you guys first. All right, so at this point, I'm pretty much like, all right, so the, the parry's not going to happen, so I might as well just take him out the regular way. So, charge your shield, or charge your uh, your hit, and then you can take him out. And there you go. He's almost done. He's got some cool moves on him, though. We got him stunned there, nice. I, that might have been a parry that I just pulled off there. Couldn't really tell. Cool assassination, though, for those commanders. I just wish that they had decapitations in. I think that would be more realistic and fun. And look how much blood you see on Baik, you know. Alright, so all we got left now, <laughs> a little teabagging for you. Something you couldn't do in the past Assassin's Creed games. <laughs> but you can do it in the first ever one. <laughs> right here. In Assassin's Creed Origins. All right, so as you can see, we still got the captain. And again, we need to locate him. And this is just the play area. I can't show you the full map. I'd love to. It's huge, guys. It's freaking huge. This is just the tiniest little portion in this game. And this is all the demo right here. It's so huge. And there's so many different, like, uh, landscapes for you to play on. The desert, grassy areas. I mean, it's, it's, it's all over. 
So, we're going to take out this captain. And that way we at least have the kill captain and the kill commander accomplished. And that is going to be it for this gameplay video, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed. I wanted to show off some really cool nighttime gameplay for you guys, and hopefully you enjoyed. Let me know what you think of the game so far. Thank you to everybody for watching. Thank you to the patrons out there. I love you. And, of course, I will have plenty more Assassin's Creed Origins coming up very, very soon. Editing takes a while. Love you guys. See you next time. Peace out.